So FinTrack, which is Canada's financial intelligence unit, appears to be concerned that Vancouver realtors aren't complying with federal anti-money laundering reporting laws. FinTrack requires that uh, businesses such as banks, casinos, realtors, precious metals dealers have to report every large cash transaction over $10,000 in cash that they handle and what they see as suspicious transactions. Our investigation found that FinTrack had only received two large cash transaction reports from Vancouver Realtors in the past three and a half years. That's actually in West Vancouver, Vancouver, Richmond, and North Vancouver, and only five suspicious transactions. Now comparing that to uh, an investigation we did, the province that showed a large amount of undeclared cash from Chinese citizens coming into Vancouver's airports, and also anecdotal reports of uh, large cash transactions in uh, real estate buys in Vancouver, the figure of two large cash transactions looks to be very low. Realtors argue that these days, after FinTrack's new money laundering laws came in, they rarely handle cash over 10000 In fact, usually it's lawyers and notaries who handle the large sums of cash in deals. So the realtors are saying, since we don't handle cash, why are we required to, to report to FinTrack? Lawyers and realtors, according to money laundering experts, are very much open to criticism in BC's real estate market because, for one, lawyers won a controversial exemption from FinTrack reporting rules. They're not required, like other sectors such as banks, accountants, realtors, to report to FinTrack any cash transaction or any suspicious transaction. So the law allows the uh, lawyers to have legal trusts in which any amount of money can be wired into the country and spent on Canadian assets without lawyers having to report these transactions at all to Canada's financial regulators. According to experts, that is a huge loophole. It was opened up in a Supreme Court ruling that really opens up Canada to a lot of illicit money flowing in. Realtors, some experts are saying that uh, the data the province found in FinTrack documents and data shows that they are underreporting and potentially turning a blind eye to uh, illicit real estate deals. And the, the consequences could be in FinTrack's uh, probe of Vancouver real estate deals that realtors will face fines of up to $500,000 or jail terms if they're found to be criminally complicit in any of these deals.